view camera, but I can't see. I'm too close or too far. Anyway, Fredericton City Hall should be behind me. I should do this downtown, but uh, too many distractions there. Tonight, guess where I was? You'll never guess. I was home. Then I received an email that somebody was going to get an achievement award. Or, you know, to congrats uh, so, to to congratulate an individual that have done so much to bring the attention to certain issues. And this person was Brian Jones. Brian Jones, the guy that went to the North Pole with the flu. You imagine that. So I was to, so I like to film the guy, you know, uh, I've been to a couple of events. The guy means well, not a snob, and he wants to do good. So I had a decision to make. Should I go at City Hall? A place that I haven't been for about a year. Is that a motorcycle? It's not a boat because <laughs> still lies on the river. Okay, focus Charles. Try to. What the hell is that? Okay. So it was my first time to go at City Hall in about a year. I hear there was they spent fifteen thousand dollars on security because the idiot mayor when in a panic tantrum on, uh, is that word again? Anyway, because the uh, people that want to save Officer Square voiced their displeasure from the gallery. Oh, he was all upset. He was all, ooh, like a little coward. So, uh, next thing you know, I showed up here. The commissioner downstairs, no problem. I, as a matter of fact, it was so funny. I walk in, and who comes right beside me? The lieutenant governor. That's the first time I see her. She says, how's it going? I said, hello. With all her entourage, me, <laughs> right behind. We walk inside City Hall. Security sees me right, <laughs> right beside the lieutenant governor. I said, uh, I'm part of this crowd. <laughs> they were confused. So I said, well, I'm going upstairs. I said, where are you going? Second floor or third? Nobody ever asked me that. If I want to go second floor, I go to the media room, go to the third, whatever. And I said third, but I want to take, I want to film Brian Jones. Then I arrived there. Next thing you know, I met by a commissioner. Look at me. Immediately, remove your hat. Well, remove my hat. Now, I got to, uh, I'm comfortable with a hat. I'm not removing my hat. Told him why. Anyway, so next thing you know, but he was right over me, watching me. I got film, I got videos, and hiding behind a, behind a wall. Call, you know what he called me? He called me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Moi, Charles LeBlanc. Call me sir, asshole, piece of shit, idiot. No, that's the mayor. But, uh, so anyway, I was just, oh, okay. So then he told me that I can't put my camera over the railing. Huh? Well, we don't want it to drop. Like, I would drop a $400 camera, and I got, I always got my strap on it. I look at him, I said, listen, I did this about a hundred times before, don't bother me. Intimidation, like another word, make my. Are they cutting wood in the back now? What the hell is that? So anyway, distraction. At the end, no problem. Brian uh, Jones made his presentation. Oh, and before that, the counselors, they wave and everything. No problem, I just wave back. There was four people in the gallery and maybe three or four downstairs. There's nobody there. 
You know why? Because who wants to listen to that idiot mayor? I mean, just, just to be in the same room as him. That's a snowmobile. That's what it is. Uh, watch it, boys. You might break your belt like the last one. You'll be stuck in the middle of the St. John River. So, uh, where was I? So next thing you know, who's looking at me with dirty eyes? I got the pictures. Chris McPherson, city manager. Anyway, Mr. I'm surprised I never went after that guy. That guy support that I'm a pedophile. And he used to be the husband of, maybe still is, Kim, Kim McPherson, the Auditor General. I hear lots of stories about him from females. Hey, Charlie, shut up, focus. We'll get to that, we'll see how this goes. Hey, Chris wants to play with the big boys? Fair game. Anyway, focus drops. So, the bottom line, the idiot mayor was making a speech. I can't stand listening to it. They uh, gave the presentation to Brian Jones. He made a nice speech. You'll see it all, all on YouTube. But uh, what's bugging me here is the intimidation. No place guard, no hat. If you do say, if you move or do something wrong, I don't know what's gonna happen. They're going to ban you or fine you, I don't know. But I didn't do nothing wrong there, just I was intimidated. I think I'm going to put a complaint to the commissioner office because there's no need to intimidate people. We go at City Hall, I don't like going there because I can't stand listening to that idiot. But to be intimidated, it's not enough in this house behind here. It's so funny. You see kids, they bring kids to go inside the legislator. You can't have a smartphone, you can't read no paper, you have to go in the gallery, you have to sit and watch. And on the floor there are a bunch of ADHD out of control animals, and those are called politicians, fighting and lying and blah blah. And what a great example to the kids. So. There, there's more people in there once the session, once the uh, session opens, the legislator opens. But City Hall, there's only four people in the gallery. And as a matter of fact, I just thought about this. There's two individuals, I haven't seen them around town. I gotta ask, Andrew his name? And another woman, they're always at City Hall meetings and you know what I never seen them there is it possible that those people have seen how this idiot mayor the way he comes across being so phony and uses fancy words to make himself look important that he was he was intimidated by the supporters of officer square well I'll tell you one thing maybe I'm a legend in my own mind but many people were intimidated by me in the gallery tonight i didn't do nothing wrong but they were intimidated because i got the pictures to prove it and uh, why would they be intimidated by me what did i do what did i do or what do i do that intimidates people 